the things I would do to piss in my family home sink oh, no, with, a, with a kebab not. in one hand. Stop it. Yielding my sword in the other. Um, you don't yield it, you wield it. Shit, you're right. Yeah, let's get that right. It's mummy's boy. Hey, Arthur and Arthur's mum. Hello. Should I drop out of uni? No. I've literally been to no lectures since the first week oh. and it's impossible to catch up. Yes, it Whatever is. Whatever you say will be the deciding factor. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. This is <laughs> the only no thing helping me bes- d- decide between yes and no. Thanks from Hannah, flame emoji. Oh, bless her. Well, I sp- well for wow. me, the the... I would need to know how long she's been going. I mean, uh, did well, she start in, she started this year, in September? As in last September. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. there is time to she catch started up. In September. No, there isn't. She's gone to none. Yeah, there is. They don't do much, do they? At the beginning, um, all sit about chatting. Mm. Definitely depends... don't drop out, I would say. Arthur. Definitely don't. Arthur. He's. I don't think she. Well. Okay. Uni's just giving into the capitalist machine, Hannah. Oh, crikey. You're you're a cog in the on on the wheel. Break away and become the Hannah you deserve to be. No, I don't know what you're doing. It depends. I, I don't know what course you could be like super smart and you're fucking it up. You know, I did a stupid course and it didn't matter if I missed a couple. Mm. Um, but I, I think it does. Seriously, it does depend here. what what she's studying. Mm. how long she, and, and why she hasn't gone to any lectures if she hasn't gone to any lectures because she's really not interested in the subject she's studying then actually no give up because what's the point it's three years of your life that you're going to waste and you'll be in debt as well and you will so, be in huge amounts of debt um so get an apprenticeship instead mm. or go and work for a charity somewhere do something mm, yes. marvelous go traveling or um something like that or traveling she might have already done mm. that lots of but yeah, well, don't, well, I suppose. Don't be unhappy, Hannah. Yes. Is the Choose answer. in your heart. Flip a coin. No. No? No. Yeah, go with your gut. Yes. Don't flip a coin. But or flipping make the coin will show you what your gut wants. Well, yes, it will. So if you flip the coin and flip it lands and you go, oh, shit, then that's mm. the wrong decision and you've yeah. got to, yeah. So that's our final answer, Hannah. Good yeah, luck. Like, yeah, good luck, Hannah. Let us know. Yes. Bless her. Two years from now, we get a message in from Hannah that she's homeless. She's just qualified. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's qualified. She's now the yeah. Prime Minister. Um, question three from Noah. Noah. Fantastic Noah. name. No, I don't. Not really. <laughs> um, from... <laughs> That's really... I like that. Was that real? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. That was good. I like that. For Lord Arthur and Mother, I have sinned. Oh. I have recently moved into a gracious home with my girlfriend. Gracious. Our kitchen has a great view into the garden and lets a lot of light in. Lovely. I don't like this already. I recently went on a night out with my friend. After 10 pints, we decided to call it a night. Got a kebab and made our ways home. Classy. After getting home, I decided to rush to the bog, which is past the kitchen. However, this was an emergency. Oh, God. I didn't make it. Oh, God. Subsequently, my survival instinct prevailed. Lovely. There I was. Donna kebab and chips in left oh, hand. Oh, no. Penis in oh, right t- hand. Oh, too much. Having an ungodly slash in the kitchen sink, <sighs> giggling to myself. I then transitioned to no-handed freestyle. You can only imagine the pure exhilaration indulging in my Turkish cuisine as I stand there urinating in the kitchen sink. After 70 seconds of pure joy, I looked up to the window and to my horror, my neighbour who went out for a ciggy before bed saw all of it. Oh, I was chewing my chips and I was mortified to see my neighbour smoking his ciggy, watching me slash while I wash my plates. For Lord, I need guidance. Please advise me on restoring my dignity. No chance, mate. Oh, for heaven's sake, Arthur. Noah, that is an epic. You're a, you're a king in my eyes. I can't imagine how freeing that felt. The things I would do to piss in my family home oh, sink. Oh, no, with a, with a kebab not. in one hand. Stop it. Yielding my sword in the other. Um, you don't yield it, you wield it. Shit, you're right. Yeah, let's get that right. Yeah, I... I love the way you sent this as well. I just want to say, I hope you're doing some kind of novel writing. I was hooked. 
on every <laughs> word. Um, <laughs> I like the gracious home. Yeah, gracious home. Survival instinct. Yeah, it did all go a bit downhill from after the gracious home Pure for me. But... indulging in my Turkish cuisine. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm not... I mean, you're not, you know... The relationship with the neighbour will never be the same, obviously. I don't know if your neighbour is close with your parents. I don't know if the parents are going to find out. That could be dodgy. Um, oh. I think, yeah, don't... Y- your dignity is way up. I think that's... You've achieved a... I choose a level of alphaness that not many have done. You I talk think, such no. a load of tosh. Um, and I, for one, would like to shake your hand. Either I one wouldn't. of them. Either I one that shake held the penis his... or the kebab. <laughs> <sighs> they both deserve a shake. Uh, <laughs> you probably should have shooken it. <laughs> shooken it. Mm. At the end. Um, Yes, mm. I'm sure, Mother, you feel differently. I do feel a little differently, mm. but, I'd, but I would also say his language was quite yes. colourful and I appreciate mm. that. Mm. So how, would, how do you think he should restore his dignity? Oh, I just wouldn't bother. Who cares? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. yeah, don't worry about it. Noah, I oh, salute you. Oh, Noah. I hope you've never done anything quite so revolting as that, Arthur no, Hill. No, I, I haven't. I've never, I've never weed and ate at the same time. Um, or I've, I've peed in a sink, <laughs> but you? like only out of necessity, you know. Um, well, George had to pee George in the sink, pee didn't in the he? Sink, yeah. At your old house. Um, yeah. Better to pee in the sink than sink in the pee. <laughs> I can't even do a jungle wee. Really? I've tried. Mm. I did. Tr- I have tried on a couple of occasions, and I just well, can't you, do it. You, you just can't. The no, mental. I just can't do it. I mm. can't. I, I just. One too... thing women will never understand is the sort of pressure of a urinal situation. It takes a lot sometimes. Does it? Especially, you know, if you're in the middle of urinal, there's big blokes next to you, and I'm like, come but, on, but like they're you... peeing, and it sounds really loud. And what if my pee doesn't sound as loud? Oh, that's and then, so ridiculous! And then I, I suddenly, can't, and I'm picturing waterfalls and. And things, and it's just not kind of. And now you're thinking, God, they, what, they're thinking, why is he not peeing? Why oh, is he not? Uh, dear. Uh, uh, why is he nervous? And then, oh. you know, you accidentally look and, oh, oh shit, you see a penis, and then they're like, what the fuck are you doing, mate? And then, oh, God. I, that's never happened, but. No. But <laughs> okay, it good. can be quite high pressure. Really? Mm. Okay. Yeah. But anyway. Well, mm. Should we move on? Yeah. Question four from Zara. Yes. Zara. Mm-hmm. Hi, Arthur and Mrs. Hill. Hello. I have raging mummy issues. Oh, God. And wasn't told that I was loved enough as a child. Oh, God. What are the three things you both love about each other? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> this is actually... I, want, I, I was going to bring this up. Um, oh, that no. I'm annoyed at you for being a nice parent. Hey? Because I've realised something, you know. You have to have trauma if you're the greatest. It has to come, it has to stem from, you know, let's think Thierry Henry has just gone on Stephen Bartlett and said that he was depressed because his dad never told him that he loved him and he forced him to be a footballer from the age of four. Really? Best striker of all time. You should have grabbed me at two years old should you I? should have never told me that you loved me. Right. And I wouldn't be here right now with you on, in this stupid room. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. I'd be selling out arenas. Yeah. It's mummy's boy. 